Welcome to the Recruiting Trail Totem Pole Nation. This is Lambo, obviously. So we're in the recruiting trail for the Arizona Wildcats 2024 recruiting class. I understand it's a very, very early recruiting process. Obviously, we are about a month into college basketball. But obviously, if you have any concerns, if you have any questions, um, like I said, if you need any merch, you go to totempolenation.com for the merch. Um, without further ado, um, let's get into the episode of the Arizona Wildcats 2024 early recruiting class. Let's get it. All right. All right. Arizona Wildcats. Um, this team in Arizona um, has been very, very effective over the last couple of years, obviously. Um, Arizona basketball used to be uh, good, and they had a, obviously a, a coaching change um, as well. So they have a great roster. They have big guys. Um, as of right now for Arizona, um, early into the season, obviously, I think they only lost two games of the year, obviously. Um, so when it comes to this team, this team is very great. They're very physical, and they're just big in general. Uh, so, with the recruitment of Arizona, obviously, uh, this is a team that has a lot of size. They're ranked number nine overall um, in the 2024 recruiting as far as basketball. Like I said, it's very, very early in the process. So, um, they're going to get most of their signings probably by the end of college basketball season. Uh, they only have one. They only have one five-star recruit, obviously. They had two four stars and zero three stars. There's only three players uh, from Arizona that have leather, leather of content, um, basically as we speak. Now, the first player that I really want to get to, uh, which I think brings me a lot of excitement to, especially Arizona just in general, is this guy right here. This guy right here, this guy brings a lot of size. You see that banner right there? That banner means something special when it comes to um, Arizona, obviously. This guy, I really like him. He has a lot of size. Uh, his name is, I think, Emmanuel Stevenson. Um, Emmanuel Stevenson is a very good guard. Obviously, or I think this is Carter Bryant. My apologies. This is Carter Bryant, um, a six eight small forward, two twenty five. That is a big dude. Arizona likes to recruit tall, lengthy, and wide guys. Obviously, but this guy is definitely uh, something special right here. Obviously, um, I really like what he brings to the table. Obviously, um, as well. Um, this guy um, is out of basically. Uh, Glendale, Arizona. Uh, it's basically Jabari Phillips. He's out of Arizona. He's actually 6'3", uh, 190, a shooting guard out of Glendale, Arizona. Like I said, he is four out of five star. His rating is a 97. Um, he has signed his letter of content. By the way, when it comes to this, I like this guy. This guy has good ball handling skills. He can shoot. He can do whatever he wants inside the paint. Like I said, Arizona, early in the season, is getting some top-notch guys that you are willing to see. Now, this other guy that I want to bring up as well, um, the second top-notch recruit that they also have um, is, a, is a guy to really watch out for. Um, and I'm going to pull it up. Let's be pull it up. Don't worry about it. Second guy that I'm going to get to actually is, 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 is Carter Bryant, actually. Carter Bryant uh, – is a great, you know, great guy, obviously. So Carter Bryant will actually be a guy to really, you know, watch out for uh, when it comes to this. So when it comes to Carter Bryant right here, right, look how tall he is. All right, Carter Bryant is actually from Corona, California. He is a small forward. He is 6'8", 225. Uh, he's ranked in the rating four out of five star at 97. Um, this guy just brings a lot of good rebounding, a lot of versatility. Uh, he can shoot inside and out, obviously. Uh, when it comes to Arizona, like I said, they can they can beat you inside and can beat you outside, especially uh, with the chemistry that Arizona has had this year. Um, 
I know his teams are coming into 2024, but earlier this season, as watching Arizona basketball, they beat a very, very good Duke team. Um, Arizona has appeared in Elite Eight in the Final Four a couple times a couple years back, obviously with the new coaching change. But Carter Bryant will be a player that you must watch out for um, in 2024 because he will be making a huge impact uh, for surprises to actually come. Uh, the final player that I really want to get into when it comes to this recruiting, obviously, um, is right here, this big guy right here, Emmanuel Steven. All right, Emmanuel Steven. All right, he is a center from Glendale, Arizona. Uh, he is from Dream City Christian, the same school as Jamari Phillips, seven foot, 215 pounds. All right, he's rated four out of five star. Uh, it's a 90 rating, obviously. Both all of these players have side letter of intent. Like I said, it's very, very early in the basketball season recruiting process. It's all side of letter of intent. They could transfer. Um, they could back out. Like I said, this is letter of intent. You can sign a letter of intent, and they could transfer. As of right now, these are the top three guys that you really must watch out for. Carter Bryant, Jamari Phillips, and Emmanuel Stevenson. I think those three guys as of right now, they're one of the very first guys with letter of intent as of the early 2024 recruiting for basketball while being in the season of 2023. Those are some guys that you really want to watch out for um, as far as there. And from that, looking at the recruiting um, from Arizona, you have two guys from the state of Arizona, obviously, and you have one guy from California. Uh, when it comes to Arizona, they have somewhat improved um, basketball. Um, they recently uh, got great guys. Um, they also had a, a recently new coach the past two to three seasons, obviously. Um, it was Sean Miller, uh, but the whole scandal thing, obviously, that I would not get into. Uh, but this new coach in his roster they have, they have Tommy Lloyd as the head coach. Uh, they have done some amazing, amazing things for this Arizona program. Um, but when it comes to looking at this roster, um, especially this starting lineup, because Arizona has a really, really good starting lineup. Uh, Kale Love was a former guy from North Carolina. He played in North Carolina, obviously. He is a senior. Uh, they also have another senior on the roster as well as Pele Larson, uh, the 6'6 guard, 215. Uh, so there's going to be some replacements. You have about, uh, I think you have about two seniors uh, in the starting lineup. Uh, you have Philip Barcabon, uh, 6'9, 225 dude. He is a sophomore, uh, but he is from Serbia. And also you have a sophomore guard in Jaden Bradley from New York. Uh, he's a sophomore as well. Uh, when it comes to senior, you have Umar Balo, who is from Mali. Um, he is seven foot two sixty. He's a red shirt senior. Um, and then also, also for the seniors that are possibly leaving next year, maybe some juniors. Uh, Grant Wetman, uh, 6'4", 205, and also Keyshawn Johnson, six seven two twenty five, as a senior. They are currently on the roster. Uh, Luke Champions also a senior um, at 6'8", 205 uh, pounds. And then also, so basically they have about five seniors on this team, five seniors. Um, the rest of this roster is full of freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. But when it comes to Arizona, they have about five seniors on the team. So um, this lineup will be somewhat maybe – the same a little bit if the bench guys obviously stay for Arizona, but I think this would be a completely maybe different lineup next year, depending on transfers. Like I said, this is very, very early in the process. So obviously I will be doing this again, obviously later into the season or once the season is over or into March Madness. But as of right now, um, Arizona is a very, very, very efficient, very, very efficient basketball team. They're a team to watch out for. They only lost one game next year. They're 6-0 and at home. Um, like I said, their only loss that they went against was against a good Purdue team in the Big Ten. So as of right now, be proud of someone when it comes to Arizona. Arizona is a very good team to watch out for. They also improved their football program. But without further ado, this is it for the recruiting trail for basketball for the Arizona Wildcats 2024 recruiting class. If you have any comments, Put it in the comment section. If I miss any players or if I miss any type of information, uh, please let me know, and I will look at it for full support, obviously. Uh, if you need your merch, get this shirt. You go to TotemPoleNation.com. Hats, anything, like I said, we are seven days away from uh, – eight days away from Christmas, obviously. So 
the recruiting trail works. Matt Pat also does the football stuff. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the basketball stuff. So catching our episodes for the recruiting trail, this will be the first episode of the recruiting trail for uh, Arizona. But in the next episode, I will catch you later because episode two, we talking about those Duke Blue Devils. Everybody hates them. Everybody loves them. But thank you for Totem Pro Nation. Thank you, Sound Sports Network, for the platform. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.